Hey fellow tennis nerds, I hope all is well. Welcome to the mid-size racket challenge where I brought out the head eye prestige mid, the successor to the prestige classic 89.5 square inch head size racket. Demanding to play, but what a great feeling racket. Same can be said for the Wilson Pro Staff 85 used by legends such as Pete Sampras, Edberg, Jim Courier, and also Roger Federer early in his career. So two icons in the game. I put them in the hands of uh, my two friends and tennis coaches, Carl Adrian and Edgar from the Tennis Valley. And they're going to do a classic racket challenge and see how they like this, uh, this these rackets and how they perform. Having some uh, fun. Edgar, me and Carl here in uh, Tennis Valley and he's uh, trying a legendary racket. Used to belong to a few iconic players. This is the China version though. I mean, there was the St. Vincent version, there was the Chicago version. It's the legendary Pro Staff 85 from Wilson. And he's been hitting it for a bit. We didn't record that, but he's been really hitting the ball well. So we thought, you know, let's make a little bit of a, of a video of the use of this racket. That's a good serve. It works, of course it works. Edgar is going to be using the I Prestige Mid. It's uh, also a legend uh, used by some pros. I mean, the Prestige Classic was the most famous. This was kind of the continuation. Great feeling frame. Beautiful classic uh, old school feel. This is the normal racket, the modern racket. We're doing a classic racket challenge now. So you don't see a mid-size racket anymore on the Pro Tour. There were a few guys who used them until maybe a couple of years ago. I think Tobias Kamke was the, the last player on the on the Pro Tour, established player to use an 89.5 with the Prestige Classic Pro Stock. I think he used or, or the Head IG Prestige Mid, which is a Pro Stock code of 292.1. A great racket. I think I've reviewed that on the channel before. Uh, Robin Hasse also used the iPrestige Classic Pro Stock. Uh, PT10 as it's called. I tried his personal rackets. There's also an older review of that on the channel. So these are excellent frames, of course. Great feeling, great control, but very, very demanding to use with a small head size. And not really uh, useful anymore in today's uh, tennis where there's so much more topspin and the pace is faster. Windy day and mid-size rackets. What, what else can you ask for? What a return. Great return. So Edgar is playing with the iPrestige mid. Carl is playing with the Pro Staff 85. Uh, since Edgar has a slightly larger head size, he gets the downside of playing with multi-filament strings, while Carl uses polyester strings. Very nice kick. Tough to control. This is a good good tennis from uh, Mr. Pro Stuff 85 user. Maybe the strings make a difference here. It's a good serve from Edgar, one of his weapons. Edgar is the taller guy, as you can maybe tell, and um, relies heavily on serve and, and uh, aggressive ground strokes. Carl is more of a cunning player. He loves the topspin, likes the drop shots, fast mover, and uses more of his speed. Forehand there by Carl, putting pressure on Edgar. Carl has been serving well. Pro Staff 85 is a good serving weapon, and we've seen that from obvious guys like Pete Sampras, man, who used it with tremendous amounts of weight. But also, Edberg had a tricky serve, it was not like so powerful, but it was a tricky one, always backed up by him coming to the net and closing in the net. Yes, that's touched the line. Ace. It's getting onto something here. Some fire now, Edgar. Won that point from nowhere, kind of. So Edgar has been struggling with his toss, as you can see here. Wow, nice. 
nice return. He read the kick serve. It was um, there for the taking because he was coming into the net. You always open up, of course, the court a bit with that angle serve. But I like the, the Edberg inspiration. More serve and volley. It's good on a windy clay court. <laughs> Good serving, saves the day. This is uh, what tennis is a lot about. It's a little bit long there. It's 4 8. Needs this point quite desperately. Very good length there, Edgar. A little bit out. Very tricky second serve. Well executed. And after we have a winner here, we're gonna change rackets and sides. And that's gonna be interesting. There you see almost like that the small head size makes it quite difficult to generate those kinds of spins needed to lift the ball over. Of course you can make it, but it, like the margins are smaller. Little bit out. Edgar is fighting for his life so far successfully. It's a very good return. Clear on the line. Okay, Carl wins first set. Now we change rackets. We'll see if this is a little bit easier to use. I think this will suit him, suit you better. <laughs> Thank you very much. So they have zero warm-up with this racket, which is very annoying, but this is the part of the fun. Very good serve. Carl is looking at his racket, he's very disappointed now with the change of rackets. I think the gut is more disappointed. Yeah. He's not a gut guy. No. Very good serve. Gotta use the wind. Yeah. Gotta use the wind, baby. No. no. That that you probably would have made with a bigger head size because it's just like you're trying to shuffle it over. You can't do that with those rackets. No, it's impossible. No, this one, I tried to be like Yeah, Edberg had a very continental forehand uh, technique. Like you have to really like yeah, yeah, yeah. You, you, do you prefer the uh, the other racket? Was it easy to play with? Uh, the other racket is probably amazing in my hand. I was just swinging at it. Scheiße. Very nice. Oh, elegant, elegant, elegant. Very nice. So what do you feel about the playing with mid-size rackets? I mean, I love it as a big guy growing up. I love my prestige, my radical. My, I, for me, this is my favorite rack. I just need to be, get a little bit strong and you need to move well. Like yeah. you could see like Carlito is so good at moving. I mean, he's so, so well, like if you move well, this racket is okay. But if you move like uh, a sack of potatoes, then really, I mean, with all the talent that I have in my hand, doesn't really work. You know, I mean, this racket is a, is a wonder piece of a racket. I mean, also you feel like Safin and being it's, uh, it's two legends, right, in the game. Like, yeah. the one is more uh, yeah, Safin, Ivanisevic, that kind of style. Big guy. 
Yeah, and uh, then you have the the Edberg Sampras on the other one, and Courier as well, which uh, his big top spin used that small racket. It's, yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. But it really gives to say uh, how good was Pete, like pistol. Uh, I actually felt like that. This gave me more spin. Yeah, this one, that's eighteen twenty, and this is sixteen eighteen. Ah, okay, that makes a difference. Yeah. Yeah, I wasn't aware of that, but, uh, uh, but I felt like this one moves through the air. Maybe it's more aerodynamic, also. Like, no, I, don't know, I know that you meant to hit flat with that, but but I actually like maybe because of the sixteen eighteen, the squares are a little bit bigger, and also this record, like the strings were like like spiny things. Yeah, of course, because it's uh, yeah, it, it's strong with the multi actually, not cut. Yeah, but, uh, but the feeling is the yeah, same. the feeling is the same. It's a good, good uh, multi. If I put a poly in that one, it would have been a bit more natural spin. It could generate a bit more control, but but for flat shots and the feeling, it's amazing, right? This racket is for me the feeling in the hand. It feels like perfection. Really, the design. The I think there's a lot of people that that believe the same. Yeah, it's one of those legends. But the same with that one. I would say the older generation, the Prestige Classic, is is even a bit better, but it's, it's in the same like vein, you know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Anyway, that was fun. Thanks, Thanks guys, for playing. Thank you, Jonas.